Hello again, this is Tanya with Tinkering in Ink with Tanya, and today I am going to play with these beautiful dies from the Autumn Flora line from Spellbinders. This one's called, now I'll probably pronounce it wrong, Gyalardia. Um, it makes this beautiful fl lush flower that reminds me of uh, like a Black Eyed Susan or a Chrysanthemum, and you could really layer this up. Now these dies do tell you how many layers you should cut for each. And I'm gonna take some deep yellow cardstock from my stash and I'm gonna use ripe persimmon and vintage photo to make some variation on these flowers, make the centers darker and, and flow out into these lovely autumn colors. I do, um, think it's easier to do this kind of inking before you die cut the layers and I am actually very surprised at how quickly all of this um, came together. Uh, you'd think with all these pieces, pieces and the technique that I'm using that <clears throat> it would be a really fussy process and it would take a long time but I promise it is totally worth it. I'm using a little pearlized water because I want some uh, variation or some blending of those colors and I want some sparkle. Uh, and again, I think all of this treatment to the paper is a lot easier to do when you do it before you die cut it. And look at that shimmer. And it just softens that very bold ink blending, which looks, you know, like it's not going to look so great, but I promise it'll look lovely. I just centered those on the blended spots. Now this is the foliage and ladybugs die set from the autumn flora line. And I die cut some of the, well actually I die cut everything but the little bits for, for the centers of different flowers here and the branch. Um, I'm going to curl the edges of all of these pet, or the, I'm going to curl all of the petals. You can use a bone folder or whatever you have handy, a pencil. I find it works just as well with my fingers and I can hold the base of the petal where it's the most delicate to make sure I don't break the petals off. Now the centers of these are just slightly different so you can tell which layer is which and I'm just going to curl up the stamen bases too here quick and there are two sizes for that also and they layer together to create a very full stamen base for you. This is one of the petals from the Gyalardia die set and I'm going to curl those too. Just going to add a little glue to the centers of these petals and layer these up. I did decide to do this or keep this video in real time so you can see how quickly it all came together. Um, put in that last layer. This is the one that is different, the one that you only cut one layer of and I just, there's no one way that is the right way to layer these. You just turn them until you like the way they layer together. We'll cut, die, hmm, no, they're already die cut. We're going to glue together these stamen centers and then we're going to do some glitter to the center. And these are all, I love that the little stamen tips there are, let's see, 15 in that die. It actually takes 16 of the little stamen things to cover all of the, the tips from the base. And it does say cut two, or it has a times two on the die, so it tells you how many you need ahead of time. And I'm just going to add a dot of glue on the tip of each of those stamen bases. And we're going to add those little glittery flowers to the tips of that. And I did cut that from a more coppery color and one from a more uh, mellow, lighter champagne type gold. I just, I have some glitter cardstock from my stash from a variety of sources and I bet you do too. And if you don't, it's pretty easy to come by. There are lots of companies that sell them. I'm using a wax pencil here. You can use an embellishment wand or whatever, a crystal katana, whatever you use to move your little tiny embellishments, but you're going to want something because these are super tiny and it's going to go 
so much faster if you have an embellishment wand of some kind. Um, and we're just going to fill those in all the way around. I do like the look of it with no uh, stamen tips in the center, but we are going to add some to the center here. I have actually made this flower, I think, five times now. And this one is a lovely autumn tone. And um, I don't actually use this flower on the project I'm featuring today, but that's just because I couldn't find any pa pattern paper that I really liked. And I made it a little um, too big for an A2 with all of the foliage I added, but that's okay. Look at that. It is so pretty. I love it. We're going to add some of these leaves that came with that particular flower die set. And there are, I believe, eight die sets in this series. And um, there's several to choose from. I think I might have to get at least one more of the flowers so I could have uh, some more variety in sizes for a grouping for a bouquet. I do like there to be more than one size of flower in a bouquet um, grouping that I do. And you can put these leaves anywhere <clears throat> on the flower. It's all up to you. I think this is coming together just beautifully. I did end up doing a more red toned one and an orange to red one and uh, use the same centers on those. These are some foliage pieces from the foliage and ladybugs. I, you know what? I haven't actually die cut the ladybug from that one. Those are pretty cute. These look like uh, pine boughs to me. And I think there I have done a little ink blending on the branches. And this particular one, instead of using glitter um, I used some Nouveau crystal drops for the centers. Now this one I did use the glitter paper for the center, but um, I did use the Nouveau crystal drops in glitter, etc. So that last one with all of the extra, I added to a A7 card, and I think it turned out beautiful. I did not include the sentiment on this one because it's going to be snarky, and I didn't think you wanted to see that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, come back again soon and check that description box below for the supplies that I used in this card. Until next time, bye-bye.